Ram So the thing is, is trying to find a painting is kind of looking for a needle in a haystack. And I know a lot of scientific researchers understand this point because they spend years looking for solutions to uh, scientific problems, to medical problems, to astrological problems, looking for the, the uh, who's boson uh, particle or whatever. And they have many, many times that they have invested in a huge project that just proves to be a dead end. And they have to back it out, get new funding, start all over again, you know, write a new hypothesis, get new funding and start all over again. And right now, I mean, we have the, the great uh, ALMA uh, radio telescopes in, uh, in, in, uh, in the high mountains of the Chilean deserts. And we have the, the ITEN, uh, project in southern France, uh, you know, trying to develop fusion on Earth. And it's just a wonderful f example, I think, for a painter to kind of go with painting with the same kind of uh, uh, faith in a project that they have chosen to do and then go down on this road to discovery and find out what it is that they can do what it is that they can discover, what will be revealed in the process of their painting. Once the paint is out of the can, you gotta go with it. That's the thing, you can't try to get it back in the can, because that's hopeless. So, keeping it out of the can is the only way to go, even though that may be hopeless.
Okay, my big move today is that I'm going to be eating an orange Satsuma seedless. Best thing I like about Satsuma seedless is, is that the peel comes right off. Now all this hairy stuff, don't worry about that because it's perfectly edible. You know, I can't help harvesting off a little of this stuff from time to time. But the main thing that I wanted to talk to you about today while I'm eating this orange is uh, talking with the, uh, with the dead. Yep. Now a lot of you folks are not tuned in, but uh, talking with the dead is a very easy, simple thing to do. Requires that one main little bit of pulpy here. Requires that one main thing that you um, you have to listen. Now I know a lot of you guys with 2020 hearing probably you know you can hear sounds way out there that I can't hear but it's not the acuteness of the hearing it's the kind of listening that one does in order to be tuned to the dead because if you underdo it naturally you say I don't hear anything I don't hear any dead people you know I've been listening like you said Jer and uh, you know I don't hear a thing and then of course you have your other guys who listen really really good and all they get is like you know a football stadium full of chatter because in order to hear the dead you have to focus in on a specific individual and then listen carefully to that individual so that you can hear what they're saying but not hear the thousands of other souls around him who may have a great deal to say but that you're not really ready to hear right now because you want to hear this one guy all right so bear with me a second now